welcome to your midweek update. I'm your host, Paul, from KCTK Radio. This is the program where we give you a quick update about what people are talking about this week. We examine the latest trending co- goo, 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 and then we look at the Google searches for today so you know what everyone is concerned about. Now, I'm not claiming these are the most important things or even that you should know them at all. I'm just helping you by letting you know what is going on in the world. And now, on with the countdown. Number five. Number five, the biggest sporting event in the entire globe. That's right. It's the World Cup 2018. The schedules are out. Let me quickly look here. Nope. U.S. isn't in it. The U.S. is not in the World Cup this year. So I guess you need to maybe look root for another team. Now, this is the sport, my friends, where they take a round ball, they take their feet, and they kick it. They kick the ball. And so uh, you don't know much about it because you're an American-type person, and uh, you could care less what they do. Um, so I'm looking here just kind of quickly. What is the – well, I, I can't see what the schedules are, but I would recommend let's, let, let's get beyond some of the politics that are going on, okay? I mean, if you're a Democrat, you can root for North Korea or Russia. I mean, I know you're obligated to if you're a Republican, but you can also try to go with maybe like uh, Germany, France, or Italy, one of our regular allies. You could root for them in the World Cup. It could be all kinds of fun if you like soccer. Yay! Number four. Dumbo. That's right. Dumbo is number four. Dumbo is number four because they're doing a live action of the old uh, Walt Disney cartoon where the amazing story of the elephant that could fly. But they're doing a live action one. And they have a preview online. I guess it's a um, a trailer. And it's not really live action. It's more CGI. But it's kind of cute. It's an elephant. It has gigantic ears. And it can fly around. And uh, it it looks heartwarming. It looks charming, and it looks like it's going to be a big hit come 2019. Now, Tim Burton is the director of this, and he always has a kind of a strange uh, look at things. He's the man that brought us the 1980s Batman. He did, uh, I think he did um, Alice in Wonderland. Um, He did uh, The Last Willy Wonka. So he has kind of a weird view of things and uh, kind of an interesting view of things in Dumbo. Yes, Dumbo is number four, and I recommend that you check out that good stuff right about now. But before you do, this is the time when we talk to talk about one of our great sponsors of the program. For uh, many years, um, we've had many sponsors who have kept us going over and over again. Still trying to get that lawn into shape? Well, enough is enough. I say, a real man isn't afraid of asking for a little help, is he? Is he? I'm wondering. I would have no clue whatsoever what a real man would do. Well, I know when I call Lawnmower 101, they help me out of a real bind. You see, my in-laws were coming from overseas. Actually, I'm going overseas to see in-laws. Isn't that weird? But anyway, they were coming overseas, according to this copy, and we were expecting them to see a garden paradise with weeds everywhere, yellow grass, and a lump of who knows what was in the corner. I needed help, and fast. Because it was an emergency, as they called it, they arrived almost immediately with a crew that would have impressed Benito Mussolini himself. Benito Mussolini, the fascist dictator of Italy that killed, brutally killed many people? Huh. Okay. A crew that would have impressed Benito Mussolini himself. 
Needless to say, calling Lawnmower 101 saved my yard, my skin, and probably my marriage. Check them out at www.lawnmower101.com. Lawnmower 101, because you never know when you need them, and you need them. And use the promo code your midweek update at checkout. Number three. All right, back to the countdown. Uh, number three is, oh, I'm going to say this name wrong, Sanya Latta. Sanya Latta. And you're, no, you're wondering what is going on, but our long national nightmare is over. We all were wondering who was the person who bit Beyonce, according to Tiffany Haddish. And now we know. Her name is Sana Latta, and she is the one that bit Beyonce. We know this because Tiffany Haddish has finally named. This is a, a big story, folks. I'm surprised it's number three. I know that I have had many, many sleepless nights wondering about, is there an afterlife? What happens to um, my uh, loved ones after they pass away? I often wonder, does God exist? And I finally wonder, who bit Beyonce? Now I know. It was some lady named Sonya Latta. I don't know who that is. Let's see if I can kind of figure out here quickly who she is. Oh, she's a black act actress, as Haddish has said. And she bit someone. And uh, there was a picture of her, an attractive woman. And... Uh, I don't know if her days of biting people are over. I don't know if this is going to continue. Um, I would alert not only your local authorities, but also make sure you're watching your kids whenever Santa Lata is around because there could be more biting situations. Now, I also recommend, since we're on a trend here, is that President Trump sits down with this uh, Santa Lata and maybe brings in the guy from North Korea and they can bring the peace back. Sure, there's no nuclear weapons from North Korea anymore, but do we know if there's biting anymore? That's the real issue, and uh, that's why it's number three in our, in our uh, countdown tonight about what is being Google searched. Number two. Number two is really number one, because it always is, and that's Superfly. That's right, Superfly. Superfly is a new movie, a remake movie of the movie from the 70s called Superfly. That's right, Superfly. And it uh, looks like a, a really good movie, uh, kind of a gangster type thing. Um, it uh, is kind of based on the 1972 Superfly, um, which was kind of what they call it, the uh, exploitation movie of the 70s. And it uh, looks like a lot of action, a lot of drama. And uh, a lot of the uh, many actors that you love. But it's coming out. Uh, let's see here. Oh, there's a review of it. And uh, let me see when it comes out here. Because I know that you're probably waiting right now. When do I get my ticket? When do I get my ticket? Well, um, according to this article, um, you need to go buy it now because it's coming out soon. That's all the information I can tell you at this point. That's right. I really don't know what I'm talking about. And number one. Number one is the World Cup. Yeah, I know you're saying, didn't we talk about the World Cup before? No, number five was the World Cup schedule. Number one is the World Cup. The World Cup is being played in Russia. So it's going to be interesting to see um, how that goes. Um, and uh, if you want to Google the schedule, then you can be number five. But the World Cup... My guess is until the World Cup is over, that's going to be the number one Google search in the world because people just love the soccer ball. They take it, they get their foot, they kick it, and they put it in a net, and it's a lot of fun. Um, I don't know who you're rooting for, but I, I would hope that you get on board with the World Cup. <sighs> I mean, ah, yes, that's another edition of your midweek update. And uh, it's been a lot of fun. We're on Facebook Live. That's your midweek update. This is Paul saying, until we meet again, be safe. This has been a KCTK production.
production produced by Paul Lavoda. If you want more information about this content, then you have some real weirdness going on. You can always check out KCTK Radio on Facebook. Listen to live programs at kctk.radio12345.com. Yes, and that is on the World Wide Web. Thank you.